A picture says more than 1000 words. That's why we start to give you graphical overviews of your model. Stay tuned. Hello everyone. My name is Harald and I work for the DaVinci Developer Adaptive Team. Today I want to show you some new features of the version 2.13. Init values for persistency key value pairs can now be edited in a very convenient way. Once a key value interface is defined with its members and associated data types, an application developer can add a port of that interface to a software component and then configure init values for the data elements. The editor understands the data type structure and offers the according input controls. Later, when an integrator has to create a deployment of that interface with a storage URI, the init values can be overwritten in the same convenient way. The Signal to Service Editor got a very time-saving new feature, the Builder. If you want to participate in signal-based communication, you need to define a service interface with an event for each PDU that you want to send or receive. The event's data type has to be a structure that matches the signals of the PDU, with an inner structure for each signal group. The Signal to Service Builder can create all this for you, based on your PDU and signal selection. It also creates the necessary mappings between the event elements and the signals. You may configure the builder within the expandable configuration section. A graphical overview has been added to the software cluster editor. For a software cluster, it shows the contained processes, their ports and communication partners. When you select an element, its direct neighbors get highlighted as well and the details section shows you further information. Any element can now easily be duplicated via the context menu in any editor and you may specify multiple duplicates. Also very convenient is duplication of a whole project. Imagine you have an integration project and you want to create a variation of it, maybe with different deployment parameters or with different project dependencies. When you copy and paste the project in the DaVinci Project Explorer, you have to specify the new name and you are done. The developer adaptive takes care that the duplicate project is correct. It gets a unique UUID, the correct name is set in all relevant places, files get copied and duplicated model elements get a unique UUID too. Please don't just copy a project with your regular file explorer anymore. Last but not least, you may want to share a project overview with colleagues, but it might be too big for a screenshot. Therefore, you can now export this view to a PNG file with this context menu entry. These are some highlights of the new version 2.13. I hope these features help you in your daily work. Thanks for watching. If you missed the highlights of the latest releases, check out our playlist. And why not subscribe to our tech tutorial channel? And if you hit the bell, no new DaVinci Developer Adaptive video will go unnoticed. Bye!